Hi, welcome to Movies Franchise. Today, I will talk about the movie title Lincoln. The movie starts showing a scene of war and bloodshed. It was a flashback of a black man soldier that is talking to President Lincoln. The black men are telling the president about the hardship of being a black person in the military. While they are talking, more soldiers appeared and talked to the president. They repeated the Gettysburg Address the president made a couple of years ago and admired Lincoln but are later on called by their commanders to come to their companies. Two months have passed after President Lincoln's re-election, and the American War is in its fourth year. Lincoln is telling his wife his dream about a ship moving by some terrible power and speed. Molly is shaky about his dream. After complaining about the carriage accident, she suddenly thought about what the dream about ships signifies. It was about the amendment to abolish slavery. She discouraged Lincoln from the amendment as she thought that it was sure to fail. The next day, Lincoln gave a short speech during the flag raising. After that, in a carriage, they are discussing the voting of the amendment. There are still 20 votes lacking. The secretary argued that the amendment is not needed since they will win the war. There is no need to go to the House to discuss the amendment with the same people who rejected that 10 months ago. But Lincoln is feeling positive about the chances of winning in the current situation. In their office, they are strategizing about how they can gain the 20 votes to win the amendment. Suddenly, Mr. and Mrs. Jolly come to visit Lincoln and complain about his men occupying their toll booth illegally. Then Mrs. Jolly was asked by Secretary Stewart about the 13th Amendment, and she favored it. She thought that the war will end if slavery is ended. However, they asked again if the war finished first before they can end slavery. Would they still want to vote for the amendment? She said that should not vote because they prefer that they want to keep their properties and jobs to themselves. Lincoln asked them to leave and come back in the morning to consider what the law said about their situation. In another place, Lincoln is talking the press and asking the Republicans to vote for the amendment. However, one man asked about what they get for doing so. Attention is turned to Lincoln's son. Preston is talking to him asking about his brother and about what they want for all the help they give to his father. He said that the Republicans are not abolitionists, they can't tell them to vote yes unless Lincoln is to say that he is seeking a negotiated peace. In the office, men are talking about the strategy to end the war quickly by bombarding using the largest fleet to target the Fort Fisher and execute a steady barrage till they surrender. If Wellington falls, it will allow them to secure victory and the war is done. Then a man complained why they are not turning the nation's attention to the war, but instead to the anti-slavery amendment that is being precipitated into the House floor for debate. Lincoln argues that he wants the amendment through the House to prevent another act of slavery to happen if ever the war ends and that he no longer holds any power to set them free. That is why he wanted it to be established as soon as possible and wanted their support like they always did. After the meeting, Lincoln met with Mr. Ashley to talk about bringing the 13th Amendment to the floor for debate. The secretary told him that they are expecting their full support about the matter, but Mr. Ashley said no, since they cannot organize anything immediately in the House. Lincoln, however, is able to convince him. In the court on January 9, the House debate begins. The floor is given to Mr. Woods, who will speak against the passing of the amendment. He argues that it will indeed set immediate liberty for the colored population, but will cause them to lose millions of dollars. His speech gave clamors among the men who are on his side while anger from the other side. Statements that attack the speaker are made. However, Mr. Woods still argues about the natural law that those created by God unequal should converse must never declare equal. The others answer that the only insult to natural law is slavery. The first debate ended there. The elder son of Lincoln, Robert, is at the mansion to visit and Molly is very happy to see him. At night, Preston is talking to Lincoln. He said that he had visited Richmond to talk to the traitors and plead. He gave the names of the three delegates to be sent so that Lincoln could talk peace with them. It will be spring in two months, which means that the roads will be passable and that the bloodshed will commence for the fourth time. He is rushing Lincoln to talk to these people to stop the war from killing more of their sons. Days go by, they are trying to convince the Democrats into voting yes for the amendments for making up for 20 lacking votes. In the end, they are able to get seven votes from Mr. Ellis, but they still need to get 13 more. After that, Lincoln's secretary talked to him about the revolving rumor that he had allowed Preston Blair to go to Richmond to invite Jeff David to send commissioners to Washington to come up with a peace plan. The secretary asked him in hopes that he didn't. However, on no man's land, January 11, Lincoln did send a reactionary dotard. Stewart is mad about this decision. This can be turned against the president because he can be questioned why they need to enrage the Confederacy over the issue of slavery when they are here to make peace. The secretary insists that it is either the amendment or the Confederate peace. If Republicans and Democrats will ever talk to them about peace, their efforts will be wasted. Lincoln only insists that the secretary should get him 13 votes before they arrive. Later, Lincoln and Robert are arguing because he wants to join the military, but his father refuses to enlist him. In the other room, Molly is crying because the party reminded her of her deceased son. 
At the party, she meets Thaddeus Stevens and argue with him about the accounting of their household and the achievements of her husband. Later in the basement, Lincoln is talking to Stevens about the debate and asks him to at least not frighten the other conservatives. Stevens argued that when the war ends, he intends to push for full equality where black people can vote and other possibilities. Confiscated properties will be used as the funding source for the improvement and will help assist in establishing freedom for all. Lincoln, although very admiring of his ambitions, had counter-argued that their goal right now will fail. He wanted to insist that they should see where they walk rather than where they want to go to. At night, Molly is convincing Lincoln not to recruit Robert to the military as she will lose her son again. Their argument was halted with a knock and Lincoln left urgently to the war room. Their news of Fort Fisher's liberation reaches him, but there are thousands of casualties. On the second day of the House debate, the floor was given to Mr. George Yeeman. He had announced that he is against the amendment, although disgusted by slavery. He argued about what might happen if four million colored men are set free in one instant. But white people will be forced to give them the right to vote as well. He instigated the crowd by questioning them as to whether they wanted the colored people to vote. If it possibly happened, another possibility is that the vote is a right to be given to women too. His statements have successfully incited a reaction from every man in the room. The second debate ended there. The vote for the amendment was reduced from 12 to 11. Words were spread to people that there is a Confederation peace going around. The Chief General of the United States Army has successfully handled the Confederate peace commissioners and the worry of the Secretary of State was now removed. House of Representatives, January 27, the third House debate commenced. There Stevens speaks about believing in legal equality for all races. He continued saying that the true purpose of the amendment is to allow the quality of all things before the law and nothing more. He then explained that even a white man who has committed a crime will be treated equally before the law. His statement got a mixed reaction from the crowd. After the debate, Asa confronted Stevens for his statement as he had taken Stevens' statement negatively and understood that Stevens denied all blacks their right. Stevens then explains that he wants the amendment to pass so that the Constitution's first and only mention of slavery is his prohibition. The next day, Robbie and Lincoln went to a hospital. While Lincoln went inside to talk to some people, Robbie saw someone pushing a cart with blood dripping from it. He followed them and there he witnessed severed arms and feet. When Lincoln went out, Robbie confronted him about joining the military to which he insists that he must. Lincoln disagreed and they argued. The son said that Lincoln is not afraid of him dying but is afraid of his mama. Lincoln slapped his son for this answer but still insists that he enters the military or else he will feel ashamed of himself for the rest of his life. At night, in the couple's bedroom, Lincoln tries to convince Molly to let their son join the military. Molly is afraid that the war will kill their son. She screamed at Lincoln for this decision and broke down. Lincoln in the end walks away. The next day, Lincoln talked to Mrs. Keckley. They talk about what freedom is and what it might bring. Black people have been fighting and dying for freedom. Since they have not experienced freedom, they have no idea what freedom might bring. Four days before the voting, Lincoln visited Mr. Bilbo and the others to ask for a favor. He told them to visit the Democrats they know and to agreeing to vote for the amendment. The rest of the four days are used to threaten or convince the others into voting yes. In a room, Lincoln is talking to Preston and other Republicans. They are angry at Lincoln for denying them peace commissioners. Their chance of ruining the abolition amendment and leaving the Constitution alone was lost. Lincoln got angry and he said that unless we cure them of slavery and the war, they cannot talk about human meaning or worth. The amendment is the cure for all this chaos happening now and in the future. On the morning of the vote, January 31, 1865, black people attended the event. Mr. Ashley was given the floor to make a speech. After that, he gave the floor to George Pendleton and he presented to everyone affidavits of the testimony of the commissioners have indeed come there to offer the ending of the war. This sparked a reaction from the people, and they insisted on postponing the vote. Mr. Bilbo informed the president of the matter. Lincoln lied that there is no commissioner of peace and the voting continued. Voting is taken from the representatives one by one. The vote is being announced to everyone outside the court too. In the end, the final vote, eight absent, 56 votes against, 119 votes for. The amendment has been established with only a margin of two votes. Everyone has celebrated, especially the black people, for gaining their freedom and establishing peace. Singing and loud music are being played everywhere. Mr. Stevens has asked to take the amendment and return it tomorrow. In the evening, he gave the bill to his lover, which gave her happiness. The next day, Lincoln discussed with the rebels about their surrender. Guarantees of rights and immediate freedom are being discussed. Slavery is done and rights are given to everyone, and all will be considered citizens. In the office talking about the black people voting, Lincoln is reminded that he needs to pick up Miss Harris and Major Rathbone for the play. In the theater, it was announced suddenly that the president had been shot. 
President Lincoln didn't survive the shot and died at 7.22 in the morning of April 15, Saturday. Cries are heard and a flashback of his speech is seen. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more videos.